All right, family, let's go ahead and get into the weekly recap. This is the portion of the video where I tell you guys the highs and lows of last week and the strategy that I'm taking into next week. So I'm holding the tripod because the light is just better over here. Let's just let's just get into it, okay? Let's get into it. Anyway, so the biggest high for last week was I had such a beautiful moment in one of my coaching sessions where the presence of the Lord was so heavy to the point where my client literally said out of her mouth, she was like, I know I'm talking to you, but it feels like I'm talking to the Lord. I can feel his presence here. And when I tell you that was such a confirmation of the things that I express in prayer, right? Like Christian life coaching is not about me being glorified or me being the person that solved, you know, my client's problems. It is that they encounter the Lord, that they receive real time revelation and strategy through the Holy Spirit. And I am just so grateful to even be used in that way, but to really see my clients get to a point where they are encountering the Lord, some for the first time and some again where they're being refreshed and the Lord is meeting them and answering their prayers it is such rewarding work and I am just so 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 grateful so that was one of the biggest highs um, for last week my client has made so much improvement and I just sometimes I just want to tear up because it's just I know what it feels like to be restored and led by the Lord and to finally see you know breakthrough after been trying so long so that's one of the biggest highs for last week the second biggest high is I reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Guys, like I am, I am so grateful. I made a post on my community tab, just kind of just pouring out how I was feeling. But I was basically saying, if you haven't already seen the post, that this is so much bigger than just numbers for me. Like God used a podcast, a business podcast out of all things to encounter me and it really changed my life. Like every single week I was praying to the Lord and I was getting like confirmation and answers to my prayers through this podcast. Like I learned how to build my relationship with the Lord, hear from him and really surrender through this podcast and so I really take so seriously every platform that the Lord is calling me to and everything that he's calling me to create because you never know what's attached to something that may seem so small to you like never discount what the Lord has put in your hands so I'm super grateful for that so now to the lows of last week, I put way too much on my plate. Like when I did my plan with me last week, I realized that I had a lot of tasks, but I thought that I'd be able to get them all done. And sometimes that's just not feasible. Sometimes we can get very ambitious with the things that we put on our list. And so that was the first time that that's happened to me in a long time. And so I didn't beat myself up about it. I did find myself rearranging um, the amount of tasks on my Smart Task app. So but the one thing I really like about that app is I can easily rearrange like what I have to do for each day and I can see it visually so it just helps me to have more control over my week and not beat myself up if like I can't get everything done so that was pretty much the only low for last week the strategy that I'm taking into next week is I now have a section in my task called overflow tasks and this is where I'm going to be dumping all the tasks that I don't have room for in the current week and I'll just figure out how to prioritize them in next week's schedule and then I make sure that I add like a deadline to those things which I don't always do but for important tasks that I don't want to kind of procrastinate on I try to set a hard deadline so that way I make sure that I'm integrating it into my routine. So this wraps up the weekly recap. If you know someone who needs to get their life together and needs to start organizing their week, go ahead and send this video to them and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.